Hello guys, Varun here and welcome to another cool tutorial. And in this tutorial, it's very exciting, we're going to be running and installing Ubuntu. Now this is going to be the latest version, which is 11.10. Now we're going to be doing this via VirtualBox, which in my opinion is the easiest and fastest way of doing so. So before we get started and go into the main part of the video, which is installing it, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we are looking at, what we could be creating. As you can see, we have all the details of the virtual machine we're creating right here. And the OS type is Ubuntu. We're going to be going through all of this. And we've saved the state last, so we're going to click on Start right here. And this is just a preview. I'm just showing you what it looks like before actually showing you how to do it. So, so this is what it looks like, Ubuntu 11.10. I, I just customized wallpaper. And there's some really sweet applications here, such as LibreOffice Writer, Calc, Impress. They're basically like Office. Microsoft Office, but modified for Ubuntu. So basically, Writer uh, is Word, Calc is Excel, Impress is PowerPoint, stuff like that. And Ubuntu Software Center is the App Store, kind of, for Ubuntu. And there's a lot of cool stuff here. Firefox is a default web browser. I'll be going through all of this in more detail, uh, specifically for the OS, but let's go into the main part of the video on how to install it. We'll go ahead and save. There's three options here you can do, but I'm going to save estimation state. Okay, so what we need to do first, we need to go ahead and download the actual ISO, the Ubuntu ISO file. So we need to go here to the ubuntu.com download website, and you can go ahead to the link in the description and click on that link to can and guide you to this website right here. And now we have a few options here. It will give you download options, and we have two options here, 11.10 or 10.04. Go for 11.10 as is the latest version. And for this part, it's 32-bit and 64-bit. Obviously, this is just choose whatever is compatible with your machine. And uh, if you're not sure, just go for the 32-bit as it's recommended. So just go ahead and click on Start Download. It's really simple. And it shouldn't take too long. It's around 700 megabytes. So yeah, and once you finish downloading that, if you haven't done so already, you need to download VirtualBox because that's what we're going to be installing it in. So just go ahead and click on the VirtualBox 4.1.6 for OS X host. Just click on that and download it. Right, so once you've downloaded that, let's go ahead and open up VirtualBox. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a new virtual machine. So click on this new button right here. And it will say, Welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. Now, click on continue. Just name this uh, Ubuntu or whatever you want to name it. I named it Ubuntu 11.10. I'm just going to name it just Ubuntu and your name. So I'm just going to name Ubuntu Varun. And the operating system, it automatically identifies itself as you've typed in the name. Uh, it can read the name you, you've typed in Ubuntu. So automatically uh, change the operating system to Linux and version Ubuntu. And if you've downloaded the 64-bit version, make sure you click on Ubuntu and then in bracket 64-bit. I've downloaded the 32-bit version, so I'm just going to stick to Ubuntu. Go ahead and click on continue once you've done that. Now this is the part where it's totally up to you and totally about your computer specs. So I got my megabytes for the RAM to 1700 and the recommended base memory size is 512. But I just gave mine to 1700. It totally depends on how much capacity of RAM your computer has. I mean, if, if you're not going to use your budget that much, we're going to just test it out. Don't start off with too much. So yep. Once you've selected the amount of memory, round, click on continue. Now we need to go ahead and create a new hard disk since we're starting from scratch and click on continue. Now the file type is VDI, which is virtual box disk image. Click on continue. And this is, it doesn't really matter. I just choose dynamically allocated and click on continue. Now the location, just get it anywhere you want. I like to say my desktop, but let it be there. I'll just save my desktop. Just name it Ubuntu. Okay, so once you click on save, and this is the part where you choose how much uh, the actual size will be for the OS, for the virtual machine. So I got mine to 10 gigs. And this is up to you. I mean, 8 gigs is recommended. I would say don't go anything lower than that, I mean, for better performance and all that. Just stick to 10. I mean, it, it, this part's also up to you, but once you've decided how much um, space you decide to create for this virtual disk, go ahead and click on Continue. Now there's a summary of what all you chose and what all uh, settings you've chosen for your virtual machine. Now once you're happy with everything, click on Create. 
This is a summary and just it won't take too long. Just click on create once again and you're done. Now, you'll see that we have it right here and whatever your name is and mine is Ubuntu Veron. So it's powered off at the moment. But what we need to do now is we need to click on it, make sure it's clicked and go into settings. Now under settings, just make sure everything's fine, uh, whatever uh, you like. And then this is the important part here. You want to go into storage and then you'll see the disk, two disks here. Click on empty because there's no uh, ISO selected right here. There's no source. So go ahead and select the IDE secondary master. Doesn't really matter about this part. Just leave it as default. And now right here, click on this disk image. It'll, it'll bring up some options here. Choose a virtual CD slash DVD disk file. As you can see, I already have the ISO file appearing here since I've already selected it previously for my previous virtual machine. But you want to go ahead and click on choose a virtual CD. And then wherever you save the ISO file you downloaded earlier, just go ahead and open it up. So it's right here. So it's now not anymore empty. It's now selected the ISO file. Now click on OK. What you can do now is click on Start. Now it's powering on. So Ubuntu is running. It, uh, unlike Windows 8, it doesn't take too long to run actually, which is a good thing. It doesn't take too long to install either. It might give you some options about the mo mouse pointer. Just ignore that. You can just click on do not show this message again. So there it is, guys. It's running. This will basically be your default wallpaper, the colors you see at the moment, the gradient. And I like the music at the startup as well, uh, once you go in there, it's pretty nice. But anyways, yeah. Now over here, choose English or whatever language you desire. And you want to click here on Install Ubuntu. Don't click on Try, click on Install. And yep, you have all these. And I recommend clicking and ticking on these two checkboxes right here. Download updates while installing and install this third-party software. Click on continue. All right, so this part, uh, just go ahead and tick this, erase disk and install Ubuntu. Just click that, click on continue. Now right here, it'll give you, uh, this is basically on how much the size you've chosen. I've chosen 10 gigs, it comes at 10.7, yep. And the select drive, there's only one drive, so you don't have to worry about it. And click on install now. You're basically done. Uh, this part will take not too long, but right now, we'll give you some options and settings. So it'll ask you where you are. Click on continue after choosing your location. Now, English, choose your language, minus English. So click on continue. You can even type here to test your keyboard. So I'll just type in something, test it. Yeah, it works perfectly. Click on continue. Now, the next part is just setting up your account. So I'm just going to put my name here. So now we'll give you a welcome window right here. You can go ahead and Check out some of the features over here by clicking on these arrows hmm. whilst waiting for it to install. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and with some video editing magic, going to skip through the installing process and take you to the boot up setting. You see, I have finished installing uh, Ubuntu, so it will ask me to rest restart the virtual machine. So just click on restart right now. And then you get this window running right here. Now, in the end, it will say, please remove installation media and close the tray. Just press enter. And now it's running. Ubuntu is finally running. And it should be booting up any second now. There we go. So right now, it's asking me for my password. So I'll type in my password. Right there. And... It's just loading. And this was the music I was talking about. Pretty cool. And there we go. We have Ubuntu. So, uh, it's as simple as that, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'm just going to power off the machine here. So, looking forward to uploading more tutorials as it's holidays now. But uh, I'll catch you for the next one, guys.